Hey, hi, and hello everyone. So, as previously announced in the Nintendo Direct about two days ago, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is finally getting DLC, but it's only tracks. No characters, no carts, and no new anything. Besides tracks. Why? Let's discuss it. Okay, so first of all, why is it only tracks? Why no new characters? Well, I kind of have a theory here. So, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is literally the Switch's best-selling game, which Nintendo probably didn't expect considering it's just an expansion on a Mario Kart game that only sold 8 million copies. Now, granted, it was on the Wii U, which limited its selling points, because the Wii U only sold 13 million consoles, and it sold more than half of what we use. That'd be like if Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sold 60 million copies. It's at 36 million right now. But either way, 36 million is a lot for one game to sell, especially when it's a remaster of an old game. So Nintendo was probably just busy designing Mario Kart 9, and they were waiting for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sales to stop, so that then they could reveal Mario Kart 9. The thing is, that never happened. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sales are still going up by the day, as we can see in the quarter sales that they release each quarter. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has just been rising and rising, and it doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon, which probably made Nintendo think, maybe we shouldn't kill its sales with Mario Kart 9. So there are a bunch of rumors on how Mario Kart 9 was going to be this grand thing that was going to be revealed in a direct very soon. There were a bunch of rumors, bunch of leaks about it. And then they revealed the DLC. In a way though, this actually makes sense. Since Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was selling so well, if they announced and released Mario Kart 9, it would detract from the sales of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game, which they don't want considering it's selling like hotcakes right now. So to give the game back some of its life that it lost over the years, they decided to continue Mario Kart 8 Deluxe considering it's still selling incredibly well, even without DLC. With DLC, and more tracks than the original, now a lot more people are going to be willing to buy the game. The DLC was also a smart move, considering how Mario Kart games are usually distributed on a Nintendo console. Mario Kart is just a simple, fun racing game that is suitable for all ages, and that all ages should be able to play and be good at. This is also how Nintendo likes to market their consoles, fun for all ages. So, what have they been doing with the past few generations of consoles? Releasing a Mario Kart alongside the console. See, Mario Kart is a game that all ages can enjoy, whether you're a little kid or a fully grown adult, so releasing it alongside a console will help the console appeal to all ages. The Switch has been out for basically 5 years now, so there's gonna be a high-end revision, like super high-end revision, not like OLED revision, like 4K, 60fps revision, or they'll just do a whole nother console entirely. If they release Mario Kart 9 on the Switch, then that would delay the next Mario Kart by many, many years, meaning they would not be able to release the new Mario Kart, which would be Mario Kart 10 likely, at the time of the release of their next console. Nintendo likely took this all into consideration and said, hmm, maybe let's just do something small with Mario Kart on the Switch. And what's a nice small addition that you can add to a game on the Switch? DLC. Nintendo likely had a very smart process of elimination here. See, drivers are one of the most hyped parts of Mario Kart. You see all these different third party characters and you go, whoa, I can race as that character now. I can race as Kirby, or Samus, or Sonic even. Karts, wheels, and gliders are also likely going to be saved for the announcement of Mario Kart 9, considering that along with the new characters, matching series of carts and bikes, such as a star from Kirby, will be announced later, which would also be very hype. And that leaves us with tracks. So obviously Nintendo is not going to release and announce their extensively worked on brand new tracks for Mario Kart 9, especially considering with the new characters that may pop up, the tracks may be themed around them, and therefore would also spoil the hype. Another reason you might want to go for retro tracks is a huge reason why this DLC is probably a thing in the first place, and that's Mario Kart Tour. 
Mario Kart Tour, in case you didn't know, is a mobile game released in 2019 where you basically have this huge, huge, massive collection of drivers, carts, and gliders that you can choose from, and you have to pull on the pipe to get them. Now, we're not going to talk about the loot boxes or rubies or any concepts of that game in this video, except for one giant thing. Mario Kart Tour has tracks. It has lots of tracks. DK Summit, Maple Tree, Mario Kart 7, you name a track that's not a Mario Kart 8 track because for some reason Nintendo hates Mario Kart 8 tracks and tour, it's in there. Point is, Nintendo has models of over a hundred courses that they can just choose to put in their game at any time they want. I think they take that opportunity, wouldn't they? And now, they officially have. Now, as to what tracks I want in the DLC, I don't know, it's probably gonna get in at some point. There's 48 tracks. But, there's one thing to remember. If Figure A Circuit doesn't get in, we riot. 